is a blog and news system for your WebPlus X8 websites and not only is it designed specifically for WebPlus but it's also built in WebPlus so everything is compatible with your WebPlus site so okay so first of all let's have a look at a sample site uh, which contains the blog and news panels so you can see how it can blend in with your site so let's first of all have a look at the blog and as you can see you can make the blog up out of three different areas all of which uh, are optional so the latest post doesn't have to be displayed you can display just the main uh, blog post uh, frame or you have also the featured posts which can again be optionally displayed on your website um, the featured post uh, calculates which are the most popular posts by the number of star ratings if you're uh, supplying the star ratings and comments so you so that uh, the most popular ones will appear in the featured posts the latest posts are posted in uh, descending day order except if a post has been made sticky in which case it will always appear at the top like the welcome post in this case now in the latest post frame you automatically get a view all posts button so if you've selected a, just a single post to view you can always go back to all the posts in a list and you'll get the number of pages of posts that there are. The posts, as I say, are always displayed in reverse day order. The, you can also look at the summary of posts by category. Each post can be categorized so you can see the summary. So in this case we have five categorized as blog, none as event, none as news and one as not categorized. You can also filter the posts by the rele relevant category, either by selecting them in the box there or by selecting from the summary here. So that's uh, the not categorized one. Okay, now within each post, as you will see, the avatar of the poster and the blog title and what date it was posted. You, the post is automatically reformatted to fit the area so if you make the blog frame wider then the contents will automatically be readjusted to fit that wider area. Um, and on each post you these can all be switched on or off depending on which ones you want to use. So you have the star ratings so people can rate the post just by simply clicking uh, the star and as you can see once you've done it you will get the message to say you've already rated this. You can share on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Delicious, Dig, Google+, Newsvine, Reddit and StumbleUpon and all the necessary sharing options are automatically calculated and created as are the images to use for the share. Um, now you can have a default image to use for all shares or uh, when you make your post you can add a specific image for that particular share. So let's have a look at what would happen if we tried to share this one and as you will see we get the image automatically picked up um, the description and the title are automatically filled in as is the website and then you can then post that to your to Facebook and similarly for Twitter you get the Twitter um, tweet area filled in automatically and you can just adjust that to how you're then going to tweet it for LinkedIn Again, you on this particular case has been set for the uh, has picked up the default image um, and all the post 
data is there so you can then just click the options and post the item so also you can have the add comments and a user can then add a comment to your post so as you see and then their email address the email address is then checked to make sure it's valid and it will tell you it's checked um, and they then make their post if they try to enter HTML they will get a message to say that they've got to remove the HTML so you, it prevents the scammers from putting loads of URLs in and then add the comment comment has now been posted you will get an e email to the site owner to say that a post has been posted and you can then mod uh, um, you can uh, then delete that or remove it if it's inappropriate and if we view the comments now you'll see our new one has now appeared down the bottom and all the previous comments are there okay so that's the main uh, blog in addition to that images are automatically given a hyperlink to a light box so so all images within the blog posts are given a hyperlink directly to a light box which opens on the main page not within the blog so it's and uh, so it's nice and big and it's in a fixed position so no matter where the page is it will always show in view so if we have a look at another one that's another one and as you can see as the page moves the image stays in the same place so if, if there's more than obviously you will have more than two posts um, you can determine the number of posts to display in the in per page um, so if we go to page two we can then see there's a couple more posts there um, and so on so you can view through all the pages of posts the system automatically creates an RSS feed of both blog, blog and news events with the latest 30 in the RSS feed and people can subscribe to the feed and it will show the image and the details of the feed and the details are restricted to a certain number of characters and to read more you can go directly to the blog post and there we go okay so that's the blog side so now if we look at the news pages so you can have a news summary and that will take from the news post the first 200 or so characters strip out all the tags and create a link to the main uh, news page where all the articles are listed and you can also set the number of um, items to appear in the latest news box and this can be as long as you wish wish it to be the the fact that all these are transparent all the panels are transparent means that you can put your own graphics around the panels so it all blends in nicely with your own with your own site so if we look at the latest news page here we go we have now have the latest news items and again the images are automatically linked to light boxes and they are again static and again you can choose to have star the star rating and the sharing uh, comments are not uh, currently available within the news items um, now in addition to that the system automatically creates panels to put on your mobile site for both blog and news so a mobile blog page you you will see that the blog is automatically reformatted 
to fit the mobile page and the images will automatically be limited to the width of the mobile device. Um, but they still have the light boxes and these light boxes when viewed on a mobile will actually stay within the size of the mobile display. But as we're showing them here on a PC then they obviously can stretch to the PC size. And again you get the star ratings and the shear buttons. And the mobile news works exactly the same way. And as you can see it's exactly the same content as on the main news except it's been reformatted for a mobile device. So that's the main blog news system. Now the other thing is that uh, the new system now has friendly URLs for sharing. So when we share this, for example this post, it will give it a friendly URL and the friendly URL if we have a look up here you can see the friendly URL has been created and it's called welcome HTML in this case so when it's shared the uh, and clicked from Facebook instead of ha having all those weird things in the address bar like um, page name equals this, item number this, how many to show this, etc. etc. It will just have a friendly URL. So if we put the friendly URL in, now that page obviously doesn't really exist, it only exists in our system's imagination. But what it does, if it, if it comes across a page that doesn't exist with uh, some issues that we've um, covered later, um, it will then redirect to a special page which leaves the original URL in the address bar but reformats the page showing just that post. Um, now the other thing is to it automatically creates all the SEO for that page so when site engines, uh, search engines come across welcome HTML which as I say doesn't exist they will actually get a page and the page will have all the SEO built in. As you can see here it comes up with the description, uh, the title, um, then all the OG, uh, the keywords and the uh, all the OG tags, title, the welcome, what image to use, the site name um, and also the Twitter card details will automatically be filled in and your uh, Google Analytics will be entered as well but the actual so the actual search engine can create some good search results for you so that's the clever bits now let's have a look at the actual system and what we can do with it okay so let's have a look at the system itself so let's log in as an, ad log in as an admin Okay, so now we're in and we have all the options at the top. So first of all, we'll look at the actual options um, and how, what we can enter. So we look at the options for the system. We can set the color of the top bar of the blog. So that's that bar there. So we can make it match our own site or we can have that transparent. We can also change the font color on that bar and we can change the hyperlink colors within the posts. So the other things that we can add is we can say how many posts we want to show in the blog and the recommended number is eight. Uh, the number of blog posts we want to show, uh, sorry, the latest post, uh, number of blogs is shown in the main blog post frame then this can be whatever depending on what length you've made the frame and the number of featured posts to show in the featured post frame number of new posts to show in the new posts news posts frame and the number of new summary items to show in the summary news summary frame 
and once you've decided what you want on that um, you can so select your colors etc automatically and you simply click click update now the other thing is how you can then decide what share options to show so on the blog page if you want to show Facebook Twitter LinkedIn delicious etc so say we don't want to show stumble on and we don't want to show reddit and we don't want to show newsline now if we go back to the blog and refresh you will see that the options that we have decided not to display no longer display on the blog news the uh, blog uh, frame However, the latest uh, news still shows them all because we haven't made any changes to that. So we can go back and we can say take the same ones off on the news. And when we go back to the news, and we no longer display the icons for that. Okay, so. Let's put them all back for a minute. Now, the, the other thing you can do is you can switch off the star rating on both the blog and the news pages if you wish. So, if we switch them off, you will now see that the stars will disappear. So, we just show the shares, and we can do that, and that will also apply to the blog as well as you can see okay so and the other option is we can switch off comments so if we switch the stars back on and then switch the comments off then they no longer have the option of adding or viewing the comments okay so that's that bit the next thing is the sitemap on your main site the sitemap will have been created by web plus and it will only include pages that are within your site and that you've asked to be included in the sitemap so it won't include any of our friendly URLs that we've automatically created which don't really exist because there is no page for them they are created on the fly so what we can do is we click the rebuild sitemap the sitemap is now rebuilt and the all the original pages are still in there but also all our friendly URLs are added to the sitemap this means that when the Google, when the bots come along to index your site they will see these pages and they will then be able to read the content of the blogs so that the SEO is successfully created so that has now built a new sitemap in our um, main page which we can just show that it's worked and there's the new sitemap and as you can see our friendly URLs are all included it's also re-stamped with the current time and date and everything is there ready for the search engine when they come along okay now the other thing is that on some of the pages the uh, upload limits are set um, but your server may well be set to a lower value in which case you will need to change the upload limits on your server and this can be done automatically for you by the system providing your your PHP system on your server will recognize a .user in e file and then you just select the size that you want to allow for uploads 40 meg is the maximum recommended so say we want 20 we can set the file upload limits now it's telling us the user any file already exists and we can re overwrite that however you may have some other things in the user any that you don't want written overwritten so you can then get the code to modify the user in any manually and there we go it tells you what lines need to be added to the dot user any for a 20 megabit um, upload limit but we're going to keep ours at 40 
and we got, as we've got nothing else in ours, we're going to overwrite the file. So the file has now been created. Okay, the next thing is we need an HD access file in our main site to be able to deal with all the friendly URLs and also pages that do not exist. So the system again will create the HD access file for you. And now if your main if the main site is in the root folder of your domain, for example www.yoursite.co.uk then we just leave the word root in there. If however it's in a subfolder of your main site then you would just put the subfolders name in there and in our case it is in a subfolder of our main site called blog news main x8 Oops, that helps if I can spell. Okay, so then we want to create the HC access file. Now again, it says it already exists. Um, so we could either overwrite the existing file, but you may have other things in the HD access. So again, you can get the code to add to the existing HD access. And there we go, that's already been confirmed for us with the correct folder, base name, etc. Okay, so that's setting up all your system. Now, here you can also get the code for the pages to uh, the areas to add to your main site, but we'll come back to those shortly. Yes, so we want to look at something else first, and that is the additional parameters for sharing. Now, this is where we set all the OG tags. So we set the tag for the site name the FB admins and it tells you there where to find your FB admins the app ID if you have an app ID attached to your uh, website and the default image to use on your site so you would set an e a default image then if you haven't set an image in a post then it will automatically display that when people share your your uh, blog posts um, and again for the Twitter card, the actual site's at address and the person who created is creating its address. They will then be given the option to, to follow both uh, when, you, when, when they tweet something. And again the default image to use for Twitter unless you set an image in the actual post. And then here we can enter the Google Analytics code and just the area between the script tags not the script tags themselves. Um, you'll notice that there's some of the OG tags are not included in here and that's because they're automatically created on the fly from each individual post such as the post, the post title, the post description and so on. So this is everything it needs for the basic information and then you click continue and it will generate a file for the friendly URLs. Okay, so that's how we set the tags. Um, we can also see some information about our system. For example here which shows what our current maximum size has been set to, um, what the IP address is, the server's PHP version, SQL version and the server's date and time. You can also see the PHP info with a specially created version for this system and it will show you everything within that's set up in your PHP in eFile etc. Um, and then you can look at the data so how many active blog posts, how many inactive, how many active news posts, posts by user um, and how many news posts by user and how many comments there currently are that are active and how many active members there are within the system. So we've got all that. Now we've got some other things. We can manage the categories. So here we can decide what categories we want to provide for the different posts and you can switch any particular category off at any time just by changing that to no and you can delete any category by 
clicking the D button and then update. However, if any posts are attached to the to that category, then they may not appear in your blog posts. So you just simply enter the category and click add and your new category is available within the blogs so if we refresh the page we now have a new category okay so that's the categories now we can back up the database automatically there we go the back database has now been uh, backed up so we download the backup file there we go it's been downloaded and then you'd want to delete the backup file immediately from the server because you don't want the all the database details sitting on the server. Okay, so that's the backup done. Then we can optimize the database tables, which will make sure that any overheads that uh, we don't require are cleaned out and keeps the tables nice and uh, fast and clean. Okay, the final thing okay that's well that's really basically it on that so now if we go to adding and editing posts okay so let's have a look at adding a new post okay so this is where we would add our new post so we're posting as admin and we'll give it post a title so there's our post title and when we come out there we, we will get a tick in the box if that's acceptable if it's not acceptable for example if we type in welcome the page is not acceptable because it already exists so we need a new A new title with a different name and now we'll categorize this in our new category we added up although this isn't technically opera then we can then choose what we've, we're posting either we're posting a normal blog post or a sticky blog post or a normal news item or a sticky news item and then these will appear in the relevant list so what a blog in the blog posts and the news in the news post um, the stickies uh, if we if we uh, made this say sticky one that would appear at the very top of the list all the time irregardless of what date or time it is sticky two would be second in the list sticky three and so on and so forth if there's two sticky twos they would both be sort of then within date order within the two um, and so on so you can have as many sticky posts as you want but uh, obviously it'll be, take a while then before you get to the um, other posts in the list but under normal circumstances if they're always normal blogs then they will appear in descending date order in the blog uh, panel so we're going to make this a normal blog um, and any image you want to use for shares and then any keywords but first of all let's do the actual blog post itself um, so this is a blog post Okay, so we'll make that a heading. Okay, now if we want to add some images, we can just position the cursor we want and we can use the insert image and upload and browse and send to server, etc. But that will just send a raw image so if that's a three megabyte image you're going to end up with a three megabyte image 
um, for that post. However, in this Pro version, there is a new system and you can insert multiple images at the same time. In addition, it automatically optimizes the images for the blog post so that in some in a couple of test cases that uh, I did recently, two two megabit images that were uploaded actually turned out to be 78k once they've been optimized by the system. So you can see it saves an awful lot of bandwidth and time. So if we select the multiple images, so we select some files. Uh, let's select. Let's select a couple of images from here, shall we? So that we, you can select as many images as you want, but uh, you can do one, two, or three. So you get a preview of the images here. So then we'll start the upload, and they will upload simultaneously. If you've got a, as you can see there, that one there was too many gone at the same time. So let's try that one again. When was it? Barker's house, wasn't it? That one. Ah, I can see. I can see what that one is. I think. I think it's the apostrophe in the name. Yeah. Um, so there we are. We now have our three images, and we click use images and they're automatically inserted into the blog. We can then move them around and resize them as we wish. So let's make it a fixed width and give them a border and some space and a line left. And then that one. Okay, so we've got our images are in there. We can resize them from here as well. Oops, wrong, well, got the wrong image there. I need to get that one. So there we go, let's make it a little bit longer. There we go. So now they are three, they're all horizontal there. Um, so let's add that post. But what we'll do, if say we want this image to be the shear image, then that's quite easy. We can pick up the uh, URL from here. And then we can just simply paste it in here. Okay. And then we would put or keywords in here um, and those keywords will be used for the friendly URL so let's add that so now we will see in the blog if we look there we go we have our new blog and it's automatically formatted the images vertically as they won't fit the width of our of our post and if we view it on the mobile blog again you see it's automatically been fitted into the mobile block okay so now we've done that now the other thing is now Facebook won't know what picture to use for shares so the first time somebody clicks our Facebook share button or any of the other share buttons they will not get an image because Facebook hasn't read our page yet so you can either go off to Facebook and go into their debugger and scrape your page to get the image loaded into their database or you can use the system to do that and the system has two two little options here so here's our new blog post so if we have a look at the moment and our new post, you will see that when we try to share, 
we don't get any image because Facebook hasn't read our page so we will force Facebook to read our page we scrape there we go this is the results from the Facebook rescrape that's the raw results here so that's just exactly what Facebook sent back to us so once we've decoded that we can see all the information here now if there's any errors in our scrape you will not get all the information but here we got everything has worked perfectly we've got and we've got a page ID now from Facebook so everything has worked correctly so now if we go to the share and Facebook share there we go we get the correct image and the correct titles and everything else so that's all worked nicely now we can show the friendly URL there's what the friendly URL is going to be for that page demo post for a video and um, we can delete the post or edit the post so now what we would normally do is once we've added some posts we would go back to our options and we would rebuild the sitemap okay so the sitemap's being rebuilt and now we see it's now added our new friendly URL so the search engines can pick it up so to edit a post at any time is again it's very simple you just go to that list and you click on edit and then within the edit you can edit the post just as normal and there's, an al there's also a rescraper in there for once we've finished entering the uh, updating the images you can also change the post date if you wish so if because if, it will automatically take the current time and date uh, when you post a new blog or news item but you can then manually override that by selecting a specific date and time here if you wish okay so that's the edit post the next thing is to manage comments and you will see here all the comments that have been made on the blog and then you can delete any that are inappropriate once they've been deleted of course you can't recover them then in the my account the user can add their new avatar if they wish um, so if we go to uh, wrong one wrong one I'll get the right one in a minute um, let's have the avatar okay so we now got a new avatar um, and they can change their password here too so if we go back to the blog now our avatar should have changed there we go we now got a new avatar okay so the admin uh, user can obviously do all of these functions that we've spoken about um, but a normal user can only manage their own account and add and edit their own posts they can't edit other people's posts and in the user it's very simple to add a new user and you select the user level and then they will appear in the list at the bottom okay so that's basically it probably the only blog news system that's been developed for web plus and built within web plus and I think you'll agree that the features that it now includes including all the SEO and uh, sharing and everything else it's now comparable with many of the other non web plus blogs that are available.